Hello everyone, uh, I'm back. Welcome to my channel. Uh, another DIY here. Um, as you are looking at a V brake for a bicycle here, uh, I am looking at a completely worn out brake pad. So I'm going to replace it with something like this that I bought online. Uh, as I do that, I'm going to take videos uh, along the way. To replace the brake pad, what you really have to do is unscrew this. The brake pad comes out. You want to make sure you keep all the washers and nuts and everything that come out. Keep them in order and then you put the brake pad, new brake pad in. It comes with its own set of washers and screw nut. This Allen key, uh, Allen nut here that goes in. It's uh, As you can see, this one is um, has its own it seems to be a little bigger than the pad I have for this 20 20 inch bicycle wheel but uh, as I just put one of them um, this is left front but uh, it does seem to be uh, an okay fit for the cycle for the wheel uh, here so it should be okay as I put it in as I compare it to this it does um, seem to be pretty comparable so i'm going to replace this the other thing i'm running into is when i apply the brake i move this v brake to the right a little bit you can see there is gap between the pad and the wheel metal part of the wheel but when i press the brake and let it go this side went back and opened up this one kind of got stuck to the wheel so um, generally when that happens is the spring that's pulling it back is getting obstructed uh, that means uh, this whole joint needs to be cleaned out uh, so I'll be taking that out cleaning it and then putting back the putting it back together along with the new pad so let me do that and uh, I'll continue with your recording along the way stand by it's pretty dirty and uh, the actual uh, one of the V shapes of the brake I've actually replaced as you can see I've taken the wire out the wire is out right now it was plugged in like this with the wire in um, I took the wire out this thing then comes out and if you look at the other side of this uh, this black cap which can screw on tight on top of this is something that um, holds it together if you take that out you can just use a flathead screwdriver to kind of pry it off and uh, you can see a little dirt and uh, some grime over here that maybe um, needs to be cleaned up and uh, once I do that I'm gonna come back put it back together as you can see the brake the pad is uh, nice and fresh and uh, like I said I have to do the same on the other side but this needs to be cleaned up so that uh, when I release the brake, the spring does allow it to recoil and go back to a proper position so the um, brake pad isn't uh, rubbing up against the frame of the wheel. And stand by for more. So guys, I have uh, put the brake pad on it. I have put this back on uh, so it goes on like this. And then the screw that I took out, I'm gonna put it back together. Now I have cleaned it. Uh, I wanna see if this uh, particular, as you, you can see this one, right? This little brass color spring is tight enough that when I let go of the brake, it will retract and it doesn't keep touching. I'll make sure that the brake pad is aligned with the frame here, uh, which it is. Um, you have to put this metal piece on maybe not screw it all the way I'm doing it right now but uh, once you do that then you align the metal the brake pad to the frame so that you get a right nice snug fit otherwise these uh, washers here are like oval shaped so they allow you to move it up down so you can kind of uh, align it flush with the or parallel to the uh, actual frame the brake pad so Looks like it's nice and parallel. Now uh, I wanna make sure that I tighten this, thread the brake cable through here. Mine's kind of worn out, so I need to replace this, but I'll try to thread it through here. 
um, and uh, then we uh, put it back together and uh, I also have to do the same on the other side and go from there. Stand by. Thank you. Mm. Tip time. All right, it's a bonus tip, guys. Um, if we, this is uh, doesn't have enough, you feel like the spring isn't pushing it back enough, far enough, uh, one of the tips here is that you see this little uh, whole uh, metal piece, you need to adjust this metal piece between these three screws, whatever is, are holes, whatever is appropriate. Uh, since my spring is probably getting weaker, I'm gonna put it here until time comes to replace this whole assembly, the V-brakes assembly. I'm gonna put it here so you can see um, as I try to fit it, and I fit it here, this is the middle hole. It's not, the spring doesn't seem to be that powerful. When I move it up a little bit, it goes onto the first hole. Now you can see it has a nice pop to it and it'll be able to pull it back. So same as this side here. So goal is to now thread this wire through um, and uh, put the brakes back together and see how it performs. Thanks for watching again. Um, I'm back with uh, the other side here doing the brake pad make sure the brake pad is nicely aligned as you can see here uh, with the um, the adjustment to create a gap between the brake pad and uh, the wheel frame will do later uh, but uh, make sure it's nicely aligned uh, this one clearly says it's front which should be facing that way as this arrow suggests right here front that way and it's on the left side so as you can see it's on the left side of the bike um, and then um, what you would do is align it. Uh, you see all these washers uh, need to be aligned. And the back of this is the Allen screw. Make sure the screw is aligned. You haven't tightened it yet, but once you make sure that it's nicely aligned with the wheel frame, uh, you start tightening it. Uh, we don't have to take the whole thing apart. I had to because I had to clean and readjust the other side, the frame, so it is it retracts back, like I said. It is retracting back as I, it's this one. Um, what I did is uh, my cables are also a little frayed. I create another video on that, but uh, in order to push through a cable through the small hole that is frayed, uh, I recommend just taking this nut completely off, taking out the other side, which has the hole where the cable goes through right there. And just fraying each and one, uh, every th uh, element of the metal cable uh, through so that it doesn't uh, get caught up in this um, uh, in, 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 and breaks up even further. So do that carefully. Um, learn that the hard way, it really damages the cable uh, in the long, ter long run. Um, so my goal now is to put this together and uh, do the adjustments. And I'll show you guys how to do the adjustments on the brakes so there's enough gap between the frame and the new brake pads on both sides. So stand by. As I guys was talking to you about before, when you have frayed cables like this, they don't want to go into this cable hole um, to tighten it. So I usually take it all out uh, from that uh, thing uh, back here. Uh, you can see because it's supposed to go in there. Um, and as I do that, I then thread individual pieces of fiber here uh, through the hole so that uh, I don't fray the cable even further. So that's a quick tip. Final version. The V brakes are perfectly oriented. Um, both the brake pads, right and the left one, are equally spaced. And when I run the bike wheel, um, they are able to stop it. And the brake seems to be at a good stopping at a good cliff here. It's not going all the way down, so the adjustment seems to be okay. Um, if this does go it's, you know maybe more than two fingers here uh, if it's closing going more closer to the handlebars here this is the adjustment you should do loosen it so go anti-clockwise um, to tighten the brake and then clockwise to loosen it so I did some anti-clockwise two turns and it uh, works perfectly now so as you can see the wheels rotating and uh, without uh, any hindrance from the brake pads and when I apply the brake it stops perfectly and good view here you can see that little gap down there between the wheel and the frame same on the other side so good to go on the back I'm gonna repeat the same on the front really no science there same uh, mechanics 
up on the front and uh, get some new pads there and we should be good to go. I appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe, share and stay safe uh, during the lockdowns and stuff. Thank you. Bye-bye.